I've just turned the big four zero. And I've decided to go and celebrate by taking a trip to Cabo St. Lucas. So, why don't you come along with me as I explore the wonderful city of Cabo. Who knows what's going to happen. You'll experience all the highs and the lows and everything in between. So come and join me as I explore this wonderful city. All right, so it is about 3 a.m., 45 minutes before I'm supposed to leave. So I just wanted to give a quick update and go over what's going on. So um, I went to bed, didn't get much sleep. Um, so all day I'll probably have some sort of sinus headache. I'll be cranky. As I said in the beginning, these are the highs and lows of what I'm recording. So why am I doing this? Um, well, first of all, as I said earlier, it is my 40th uh, birthday, so I decided to go and take a trip. Uh, well, my father will be joining me. Um, and so we're flying out on Memorial Day, um, which is one of the busiest days in Atlanta um, at the airport. So it should be fun to see how things go. Um, so stay, stay by. So I'm at Houston right now for a couple of hours. The label there, hopefully, the cop knows. So what's in coming here? So hopefully, no one's next. Um, getting. So we'll see what happens. All right. Well, since I'm going to be here for a few hours, I'm going to take you on a tour of this lovely airport. So let's go. So for day one, let's see what happened. Got to Houston early. Thank you, Southwest, for that. Then, um, let's see. Got on the plane from Houston to Cabo, and the plane broke. Just as we were boarding, the pilot said, uh, you know what? Plane's broken. Everyone get off. We're going to get you a new plane. So we eventually got to Cabo. And, of course, at that point... I was tired, but we went uh, to the resort, and um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I walked around for Houston Airport for a while, but, uh, you know, got back um, here to Cabo, and we walked around, and it's very nice. So, here's day two. Alright, so on day two, 
pretty much chill. We went to the beach. We uh, had uh, a good time. We went to uh, saw a bunch of waves. And uh, later on that night, we went to this restaurant. And um, it was good. We went, to, we went there because uh, my dad, he uh, goes there a lot. And he loves the uh, something called drunken shrimp. Well, he decided not to get that for reasons. So uh, instead, uh, we got some enchiladas. They were good. Uh, we ordered a Caesar salad, and the guy prepared it in front of us. And it was very entertaining. Presentation was very nice. And yeah, it was good. And so uh, day three tomorrow, uh, we plan on going uh, scuba diving. Not scuba diving. Um, snorkeling on this pirate ship. So we'll see how uh, day three goes. So day three was very fun. We went snorkeling on this pirate ship at the marina. It was very fun for uh, 45 minutes, although we did have to cut the uh, snorkeling short because we saw some jellyfish. Um, and unfortunately, people did get uh, bitten or stung by jellyfish, including my dad. Um, but good news is um, it should be going down in maybe a day or two, they give him some ointment, some cream, so uh, he should be fine. Um, but other than that, I mean, it was a fun trip. We saw some beautiful uh, fish under the sea, and we had a good meal. It was very entertaining. So uh, after that, we just went back to the hotel and crashed and spent the rest of the day inside. And I was really getting tired. It's been a long day. So, on that note, I'm going to say we'll see what happens on day four. Nothing's planned yet, and it's probably just going to be a beach day, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so today we are going to go and do a cooking class to make barbacola, I think. So we'll see how that goes, we'll leave in a few minutes, and we'll see how fun that is. I mean, it's a demo, so we may make some, we may not, but you get to go along with us. So, come along, have fun. So what is barbacola? Well, long, long story short, it's basically cooking or barbecuing meat underground. <laughs>
Alright, so what you're going to see here is them actually preparing salsa that we're going to eat with our tacos. No, it's not uh, green and rice. They say no trip is complete to Cabo without visiting the Arch. And of course the only way to get there is by boat, which always makes it fun. All right, so a little bit of a setback today. Today we were planning to go take it easy and started off on a walk on the beach. And as we were walking on the beach, someone stopped us and asked if we wanted to go on a tour. Now, we have a whole bunch of people usually um, walking up and down the beach wanting to tours and other stuff. So. Uh, while, while we were walking, they offered uh, some a, a tour to see uh, seals and, and stuff like that. You go to the beach and uh, the, the couple's beach and stuff like that. The ark and everything. And so uh, and so. Uh, while we were getting on the boat, we decided to take one of these cruises, our tours, and uh, we, as we were getting on the boat, my dad got hurt. He thinks he tore something in his cab, so uh, we continued the tour uh, as he was injured, then walking around the marina as he was injured. We're back at the hotel now. He's got his... Uh, Play got nice and elevated, but we're clearly going to take the rest of this trip easy. Now, the tour something that's going to change everything. Um, hopefully, it's not a tear, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so at the hospital, they determined it was a calf strain, so they gave us a muscle relaxant. Uh, compressed his thigh and we're just going to take it easy for the rest of the trip. That's about it. Thank goodness it wasn't something worse, but you know. So, you always uh, have insurance too when you travel. Just saying. So, we're going to take it easy for the next few days, so enjoy some of these clips uh, by the beach and by the pool.
All right, now before we continue, we need to talk about something, and that's food, because food is very important when you travel. Here at Mikasa, people are dying to get in. Oh, all kidding aside, this is the whole reason why we went for queso fundito. As you can tell, well, it's cheesy. After that, we decided to go and have more cheese at Cabo Cantina. Cabo Cantina has a great atmosphere, as you can see, but that's not the whole reason why we're there. As mentioned before, we want a cheese. And of course, it came in the shape of these quesadillas. And of course, a trip of cheese wouldn't be complete without a plate of nachos. Uh, this was later on in the trip, but it was still delicious. But we also went back to Cabo Cantina to have their version of queso fun. And I gotta say, it's even cheesier. And I... And as such in life, all good things must come to an end. Alright, so I am home now after a long day of flying and a long day over in Houston. Um, but now that I'm home, it took me forever to find my luggage. The airport's huge here in Atlanta, but nonetheless, I'm home and I just wanted to give my final thoughts, uh, which are, uh, first and foremost, thank you to my dad, who came with me on this trip, who provided everything, um, from the hotel to the flight. Everything. I have the world's greatest father in my opinion. Uh, and I love him to death. Uh, and I will do what I can not to post any pictures of him, uh, because he doesn't want to be on social media. Uh, so with that being said, um, I just had a blast, uh, on the strip. If you ever have a chance to go to Cabo San Lucas, go. It is fun. It is relaxing. Spent a lot of time by the pool, by the beach, did a lot of other stuff, um, a lot of good food. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was a blast. So, um, yeah, if you ever have a chance, just go. And on that note, uh, the end of this video. Um, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, okay, bye. Um, but, uh, I will be trying to make more videos, uh, various other stuff. If you look at my channel, I've got a whole slew of stuff from cooking to stand-up comedy to a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so check that out. Uh, subscribe. And uh, thank you, everyone, for watching.